our people welcome to another video all right guys so today i just got some essential steps that you guys should take before you start doing anything to your lenovo go meaning like this is all the features i think you should turn on or have in your system to best optimize the system to your liking and that goes for gaming or for everyday use like if you're doing windows stuff like work if you because you can use this device as a regular device not just for gaming right so this is all the steps i think you should take and all the stuff you should turn on to best optimize the system for you all right let me get into it real quick before i do that guys please hit that like button subscribe to the channel for more awesome content guys and drop a comment down below and let me know what you think all right so the first thing i want you guys to do when you turn on the system you gotta make sure everything is up to date right so you want to go here or you could just go here check for updates or you could just type in type it in once you type it in then it will pop up and you want to click this and check for update i mean this i already downloaded it so i'm not sure why is it still here all right so this shouldn't be here but after this video i'll see what's going on but i already did this and installed it so i'm not sure what's this right so you would go here you would hit check for update and then it will search it will search and then it will show you if there's any update you want to make sure you do this because this is key right this is very essential for your system so you want to make sure you do this before you do anything right all right so that's step one the next thing i want you guys to do go into the amd app and you want to update some stuff the drivers i don't think you could get it the official way yet because they aren't they haven't released it yet for the lenovo go but once you go to the md app you will go here you hit check for update and then the driver should be here whenever they released it officially right you can update your drivers right now i did update my drivers but you gotta do it take a couple more steps to to get it done but it can be done right now and those drivers they're essential for like all the newer games that's coming out or all the games that came out like alan wake and starfield so if you've been having issues with those games right now the main thing is because of the drivers that they haven't released yet for the lenovo go they're out there because the drivers you could update your rogue ally with all those drivers that they have that's out to make the games run more smoothly but they haven't released it for this system as of yet which is the lenovo go right but you can still update your system as i'm saying there's a video online that's showing people how to do it i think i'll post that link down below or i would make my own show you guys how to do it step by step but sooner or later they'll release them with the official way and this is where you would come and get those drivers right next thing i want you guys to do you want to go to gaming while you're here you want to go with graphics and you want to enable radiant super resolution right with this right here this helps you with all the game fidelity like the games look way better and the, uh, the fast pace so it give you a little boost in the quality and your frame rate so you want to make sure this is up and then you can mess with the sharpness as well so you could either go with uh super radiant resolution or you could go with rated radiant image sharpening you can't use both of them at the same time but this right here is the best one to go with as of now that's what i've been seeing people using and then you could turn on the radiant anti-lag so that helps you with lag and radiant boost and minimum resolution change all right so that's the main thing I want you guys to do. If you're playing any games you're playing, this will boost your experience and give you a better vibe while you're playing, right? Better immersion. Next thing I want you guys to do, I need you to change the VRAM. All right, so how you change the VRAM, just gotta power off the device, make sure it's fully off. When the device is off, just wanna make sure you press the power button and volume up, hold, 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 and there you go so now you're in the bio settings bio setup when you get to here go down here to more settings configuration you scroll down and then look for you uma frame buffer size right and this is where you change it you just go to exit and then exit save changes next thing i want you guys to do i need you guys to download um afterburner mis afterburner this is so that you could see your fps and like all your stuff while you're playing the game like your computer processing power like how hot your device is getting lenovo go it does come with uh, a tracker that you could track all your stats while you're playing your video games 
but there's something wrong with the FPS. It's not showing up. It doesn't show you like the FPS count. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. So the workaround for that is you could download MSI Afterburner for now, and then you can use that. Most people on YouTube that do videos and stuff like that, that's what they use. So how you do that, you just gotta go online. You wanna make sure you go to the official website. This is it here, right here. You will hit download. Once you hit download, it will download to your system. You just gotta open it. Put it yes, put it okay. I already installed it, so I'm not gonna fully do it. You go here, you accept, next. All right, so this step, this is why I'm showing you all these steps. You want to make sure you want to make sure the stat server is selected if it's not then you won't be able to track your your stats while you're playing video game so you want to make sure this right here is selected and then you hit next and then you go through the whole process and download it and stuff like that and then that's how you could track your stats while playing your games and stuff like that because of right now the novo tracker is not working so we can't rely on that at, at the moment next what i want you guys to do once you go to Legion space, then you go to performance. When you get to performance, you go to customize and you should customize your thermal mode, right? So this right here, customize it to whatever you want, 29, 27, all the way up to 30. This gives you a better um, boost in your graphics, your frame rate and everything like that. Experience while you're playing, depending on what game you're playing. Not all games you need this, but if you customize it, then it's best for you. If you're playing a game and you want a little bit boost and more performance. Always power mode, you could leave this on balance. You don't really need a uh, big boost in that because this is mainly just for like the, the device itself. Like when you surf in the web, if you're doing like some video editing and stuff like that, maybe you might put it up to performance, but you don't really have to mess with the OS mode. Full fan speed, you could turn that on if you're in custom mode and you think your device is getting too hot or if you're outside and outside is hot then you could turn this on to make sure it's keeping your system cool but the, the system itself adjusts the fan speed to what mode you're in already so it's up to you how you want to do it but then this will boost it fully all the time next um there's an issue that's going on online i'm not sure how this is happening like your, the touchpad right here this is being disabled somehow some reason I'm thinking maybe because we keep plugging in like devices like um, external mouse and keyboards, maybe that's why it's doing that. If you ever stop working and you figure out and you're seeing that it's not responsive, it's not responding to you, like mine is working now, but I had to go on Reddit to figure out how to fix it. How, I, how you fix that is you got to go to controller, then you go to button mapping profile. When you get in here, this might turn off. If this is off, enable touchpad, then that means you gotta turn it back on for it to work so that's the reason why it's not working somehow some reason i'm not you know, how, I i'm not sure how it got disabled but i was so frustrated like wondering what's going on and legion space i don't know it's not it's not up to par yet so we still need some updates to boost the performance to give us a better experience i mean with time coming days we should be getting more updates to, to level out the playing field between this and uh Asus Rook Ally, but as of now, Legion Space need a lot of work. I mean, when Asus Rook Ally came out, it was the same thing. It was missing a lot of stuff, and it was clunky and stuff like that, but with time, it got better and better and better. So, I'm saying the same thing with this, and with the Lenovo Go, with this type of experience, I'm thinking whenever they fix the software issue, it will be a great device. It will definitely be a great device, guys. Next thing is you can mess with the lighting as well. If you want to customize the RGB lights around the thumbsticks, you want to go to customize, you want to go in here. See, this got disabled. I don't know how that happened. It was just on a few minutes ago. See, so like stuff like that keep happening. So you go in here, you got to enable that if it's off. Then you could mess with the lights and you could change the color brightness all depends on how you want to do it speed of how it's moving so yeah guys so a couple stuff in here you could do not a lot 
but as I said they just gotta reach those updates and keep tweaking the system until everyone is happy guys but that's basically it guys thanks for tuning in once I figure out some more tips and tricks I uh, drop them drop a new video and let you guys know what's going on but yeah um as I always say guys health is wealth peace and love I'm out subscribe to the channel guys